All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk today about the uh, pronouns they and them and z and z, and uh, how when you use those, you're no longer you. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Report for Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about they, them, ladies and gentlemen, they, them. And, uh, you know, uh, and Demi Lovato uh, was one of many celebrities who's decided to drop using that thing because they thought it was so tiring. And it is tiring because we're all sick of talking about it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's face it, you're either male or female. You're a her or a him or you're a she or you're a sure. You know, ladies and gentlemen, when you're either a he, him, or a she, he. So, you know, it's all very confusing. I'm even, you know, getting my words uh, mucked up. It's all very confusing in here. This, I mean, what the weird thing is, they're teaching this stuff also to, to like, you know, like uh, grade sixes. You know, I'm somebody who's 50 years old. who used to run the health fight club, ladies and gentlemen. I can't fully understand it. You know, it still boggles my own mind. So, there you go. And uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Because even if you're transgender, you're transitioning to the other sex. You know, you're a man who thinks you're a woman, or, or you're a woman who thinks you're a man. Now, I guess there's some other people out there, I mean, they seem you know, desperately confused, and maybe they're the ones who want to use the they, them. But if you think about it, you know, I just wanted to bang out this quick report from Tiger Mountain Ladies, because they're really, they're no longer, the, they're no longer their gender, they're no longer sexed in a way. Now, I guess some people might want to think about themselves that way, and I guess if they want to, that's their business and good luck to them, I suppose. But really, do we all have to get involved in that? Do we all have to get involved in their personal idiosyncrasies, their personal mental delusions, their personal mental perversions, sexual perversions? I don't think so. I think there's no one else's business but theirs. Good luck to them. And I think it affects such a tiny, uh, minute uh, fraction of humanity that it's not even worth talking about, ladies and gentlemen. But for whatever reason, this issue has been become a major thing. If you just saw, like, Joe Biden was in the garden at the White House, you know, interviewing they them people and like it, it's become like this is the major issue of um, you know Western civilization at the moment this is the time when we're at war with Russia in Ukraine we're about to start a war with uh, China over Taiwan which they're probably gonna take pretty soon I mean you know, we're on the brink of World War three we've got economic collapse we've got inflation through the roof the government is just ridiculously printing more money which is the actual cause of inflation and and what, what are we talking about? They, them? It's just a lot of rubbish. It's a lot of rubbish. And, you know, I think that you really aren't you when you refer to yourself as a they or a them. It's actually something more like from the exorcist. You know, it's like, you know, a, a we are legion, you know. And it's something like from, you know, it's like you've got, you're possessed by demons when you've got more than one person. Or you're like, you know, you're suffering from multiple personality disorder. Like in that film Sybil from the 1970s. So I just think it's all rubbish, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to reject it. Reject the they, them. Get back to reality. You're either, you know, a him or a her or a she, you know, and that's it. Uh, and uh, that's all there is to it. Even if you're trans, you want to be the opposite gender, don't you? I mean, you know, I mean, you're, you're either Bruce Jenner or you're Caitlyn Jenner. It's that simple. And that's the report from Tiger Mountain. This week, I'm out of here. Bye!